professional from this. And there are some examples of modern materials being used as well. But I can tell you right now that this was a plant material they did use many years ago. So you can understand the amount of people in this country, there were no sort of large animals that you could use the furs, the skins or hides to make clothing. So they relied heavily on the plant material and they found this genius plant here, New Zealand flax, or Maori, we call it harakeke. This is our knife, as opposed to this. <laughs> they do use this on occasion as well. The rounded edge of the shell served as our cutting blade. To extract the natural fiber which is found inside, there's a high yield of mukha, or natural fiber found inside the leaf. We've got to cut to where that fiber is and then scrape it out the other side. So we do that with our muscle shell. What we've done there is cut deep into the flesh, but not deep enough to cut all the way through. We just want to get to where the fiber is laid on this side of the leaf. With a knife and a scraper built in, the straightened edge of the shell becomes the scraper. We take it to the line that we have marked and we use it, as I've just said, as a scraper. We run it down the length of the blade of flax, removing the waxy cuticle film that protects the waterproof leaf to expose the richness of fiber inside. The green layer has lifted away, so we pull, discard, and we continue to use our scraper in removing the waxy cuticle. And there we have that high yield of fiber that I spoke of. With this fiber we made rope or fishing lines and basically linen or cloth with this fiber. Also we utilized the fiber to make um, just about everything that we needed from the flat leaves to make basket mat. Like I mentioned, just about everything around the room is made from this New Zealand flax plant. Yeah, just tear strips there so you can get it around. 